spends uh, a fair amount of their time outside of the arena, as it were, uh, and helping them community causes, and this year was Adriano Belli. Great choice. Uh, and you know what, a fantastic choice, and I had an opportunity to meet Adriano last year. We did a feature for the score for Woodbine Racetrack, and I went out to the Argos camp and uh, went in and I met Adriano right away. First thing he did is come up and gave me a kiss, and I started to get a little bit worried, but then I found out <laughs> his nickname. <laughs> that was a kissing bandit. I didn't know that before that, uh, Ted, but... Uh, Yes, oh, uh, you didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't right, know so he was that, a kissing bandit. That, that puts a different well, spin on it. I was getting a little together. nervous. He's way bigger than I am. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, a great choice uh, this year. And uh, he's done so much for every community he's ever been in. He's always been there for charity. And Toronto is no different. Uh, sick Kids is yeah. the closest to his heart. And he does so many tremendous things for the sick kids. And I even know that the Argos, they actually have a box for the kids to come out. Uh, some of the games and Adriano was there and he greets the kids, takes them to the dressing room, uh, 10 or 15 of the kids from the sick kids and I know he's been to the sick kids many times with his teammates so uh, great choice. Yeah it is. He's a big guy with a real big heart. You know what he is, I, I don't know how tall he is but he's a big guy. I look up at him. Yeah that's good stuff. <laughs> uh, and last year it was uh, it was Mort, uh, Mort Greenberg, right? Yeah, Mort, Mort is uh, quite a character. That's a person that okay. most people wouldn't know. He's a cameraman for a CBC for years and years and years, but every year he goes out and he raises money for for charities around Christmas time. And I'm talking tens and tens of thousands of it's dollars. It's absolutely amazing that one guy can do that, uh, Ted. Uh, unbelievable. And when I met Mort, he's uh, such a humble guy, a terrific guy. And as you mentioned, he's a cameraman. But not only here in Canada, all over the world. Like He has been everywhere. He is the man when it comes to... Uh, cameraman and uh, working abroad and here in Canada and does a tremendous job uh, for charity and continues to do so. Yeah, and so uh, what we have you here, and this is your, your home turf as it were, uh, tell us about uh, the Rico Mile tomorrow. Well, the Rico Mile, we have 12 horses, a very competitive field. We've got uh, five horses uh, here from our hometown turf. Uh, I think we have four or five from, from uh, Europe and we've got uh, three from the uh, United States. So. It's uh, building up to be a great race. Of course, Courageous Cat is probably going to be the favorite trained by Bill Mott. And, uh, you know, he's a tremendous trainer, uh, known for many, many years. And so we're looking forward to a great race here at Woodbine. Mm -hmm. Bill Stevenson, well, let's talk a little bit. We've got a few more minutes before you before we wrap all this up. Uh, I know initially when I called you, because I had the honor of doing so, having been on the board of directors at, uh, at the Hall of Fame at the time, to tell you that um, that you had been selected to win the Brian Williams Award, uh, which you uh, obviously you, you were excited. I know you were excited about it, but I don't know if it, whether you the, the sort of the whole concept hit you until we went to that one day to the press conference about three months ago. Am I right? Well, you're <clears throat> you're right about that. But the thing um, I don't people who weren't here won't understand this, but this was just a first class affair. I mean, it was an extremely well done affair. And I've got to say that all the athletes, you know, from Wendell Clark and uh, all of them, spoke so well. I have been at many, many affairs, as you have, Ted, over the years, and usually you get people who are long-winded and people are shuffling in their seats. This is one of those sports award affairs that I can truly say was done just 150%. Each one of the athletes of the, of the recipients spoke well, had some humor, and didn't go long. It, uh, it was just it was as good a fair as I've ever been at, as a matter of fact, for this kind of award. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I, and, and that's good. You're right because sometimes the people do they, they tend to be long-winded. But I think well, they're not professional speakers. No, I, I, and I think one of the reasons that, that they don't at, the, at this affair, Billy, to be honest with you, because you may be the greatest curler in the country, as as, as Russ Howard was at one point, who was inducted today. But you're looking around in awe at some of the greatest hockey players. The the, the manager of the Blue Jays responsible. Blue Jays responsible for two World Series rings. Uh, the former president of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the guy who guided the Montreal Canadiens in, in the Nets to four consecutive Stanley Cups. Everybody is in awe of the next guy. And so you're thinking, if he only spoke for a few minutes, I'm going to look like a real goof if I go for eight or nine minutes because you can't put yourself, elevate yourself to a higher level than anyone else that's there. I, 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 do you think we'll work with that one at all? Well, I agree 110 percent. And uh, it's like Bill, hit the. I don't agree at all. <laughs> <laughs> I never agree. You guys always agree. Oh, you never agree. That's right. I've been to too many affairs where it doesn't matter how short somebody goes, there's always somebody else. Yeah. And the reason is 
they keep thinking of things they have to say and they don't realize how long they're up there. But anyway, that's not the point. The point Bill, is Bill, really, you know, it's I well done. It was a fantastic day and the uh, speeches were short. And as Bill mentioned, there was some humor in there. Uh, it was a great time. Good. And you, Teddy, being on the committee, you're to be congratulated. Not really. Yeah, well, you're to be congratulated being back on the air for CFRB. I couldn't get back on. <laughs> <laughs> You guys agree to disagree. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we, in all the years that, that, that Billy and I you worked together, I, I don't think it was probably seven or something that we were together on, on the morning show. I, I think we had an argument once, and I think the result of that argument was we didn't uh, talk to each other for about an hour and a half. That was it. it is that the kind of guy that you'd want to get into an argument with to begin with? Uh, way too much reverence. And, and secondly, there was just never any reason for it. We see you guys right no, away. All all made up. Yeah. And I'll right. tell you, I mean, people say, what was it like following Wally Crutter? Well, that's, that's a daunting experience, to say the least. But not only to follow Wally Crutter, but to then find yourself seated in that, in that seat every morning beside a guy who's another legend in, in the game. It wasn't <laughs> that like they, Bill Stevenson. Yeah, it wasn't like they brought in one schmuck to sit with the other schmuck. Okay. I was sitting in there with the, with the legendary Bill Stevenson and uh, the great stories and and the, and the respect that his colleagues offered him and from, from day one that I, that I got to know Billy and to, to this day, from that day forward, and all well deserved. And well, I, I'm give, really happy. I have to give you kudos though. Ted Wallace did a tremendous job filling in. Yes, sure. you did. Absolutely. You guys I, were fantastic. I was out with Crout for lunch the other day and Wally, his listeners or his friends who are listening will be pleased to know, he was great, great shape. I was up with him and our former boss, uh, Gary Slate. How's he? And Gary is fine. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Gary, we'll pass it on. I'm kidding. Gary, Gary, Gary did email out of great opportunities. Sandy, always good to see you. Tomorrow, Rico Miles starts one.